on the corner. I'm posted on the corner. Start of the ending, just a beginning. You just witness a killer, witnessing greatness, witnessing saying, witnessing Satan. That's how you start an interview. He's I'm back. I'm on the side drive with the load at the apex. Pull up. Pass my weather in the studio. Post on the corner. Welcome back. Yes, sir. The demonstration part two. Part two. Why we came back for a sequel? Cause uh, what 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 nigga Swamp say? I need you fuck nigga get back in line. Uh huh. That was Swamp. Shout out Swamp is over. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, had yeah had to get him back in line, man. You know. What makes the demonstration two different from the first one, Pesh? Cause I'm better. Mm. I'm better. I practice my craft. Like I, I'm like Kobe with the rap shit. I take a thousand shots a day. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? I ain't leaving the gym till I get a thousand shots. Uh -huh. So that's why I'm pop my shit. Like I be working. Yeah. I hope y'all work. Like cause it's all rap. It's no street shit. Just strictly music. Yeah. Big lyrical exercise now. Yeah. You like the you like the spar with them bars now. Yeah, man. So it's, it's pointless for somebody to say anything about they whoop the whoop. Yeah. Cause I, yeah, I won't try. You know. Yeah. So that's why we got this side high pack. Okay. Shout that, out side high man. He from the east man. So that what going on? Yeah, that my boy. How did how did we end up putting that side high pack in the L? <laughs> okay. All right. This this is a great story about that. All right. Boom. I just did L.A. Leakers, right? Mm -hmm. Boom. So I go to L.A. Boom. I'm repping the East to the fullest now. Yeah. You know, probably about a month later, about a month later. Mm -hmm. I see homie up there. Right, it's cool. And I'm, I'm checking him out. I was like, yo, you talking about a lot of drugs and things. Like, yo, I know you, bro. Like, you know, it's, but it's cool, though. I'm shouting him out. But they had the East Side rap. Yeah, woo, woo. Yeah. Cool. So then they got a post like, oh, home say he the best rapper alive. It's like, all right, that's cool. Mm -hmm. I beg the difference. Mm -hmm. And I put money up. You, If I gave, I said I got a dub on me. You would take my twenty thousand for a feature. Uh -huh. I got a dub on me. What's up? You could do it like a feature. We could just do the song. They'll say who got the best verse. I'm gonna go crazy. I love it. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go crazy. It. So is the song on the way or? Oh, the song. You got the song. It's <laughs> very funny, bro. Yeah, the song is. It, it ain't out, but the right people got. It. That's right. You know what I'm saying? It ain't out, but I just sent it to the right people. You yeah, know right. what I'm saying? Get approved because it ain't. I ain't make it. Like some fucked up ass shit. Like, oh, it might be some smoke in the street. It's strictly music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so, I love that. I love that. Got to bring it back, bro. Like, yeah. what uh, my boy Capricio say from uh, Universal Capricio say, man, music is missing the experience. Yes. So, Pesh is going to give you the experience. Yes. You know what yes. I mean? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, 50 Inc. is in here. Pesh Mayweather. Post on the corner with yours truly incognito. You got some special guests with you this time, brother. Man, y'all introduce y'all, sir. Yeah. yeah, you know what the fuck going on, man. It's the kid, young Jody, man. YJ checking in. Cartel shit on your dick. The singer. So he gonna take all y'all niggas bitches, bro. No cap, man. That how he coming. Then that nigga blue black. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. 819, 10K challenge, man. Maniac challenge going crazy. Let's get it. Man. 10K. Out my pike. Let's go. go that's, on that's, a that's a dog. That's a dog. Yeah. Oh, you play Tim Wade. Say that. Come get that money. Yes, sir. Pesh Mayweather is hit a demonstration too. It's on the way. You're releasing this on your birthday. 828. Yeah. That's a ritual. Yeah, always. Big Virgo energy. Fur, I ain't even want my Virgo shirt, man. I had to wear the new drip, man. Y'all stay tuned to that culture merchandise, man. Coming soon. Shout out T Money. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah. Yeah, yeah. Big Virgo energy, man. Yeah. Got to know a, that. A few things have changed since the last time I had you in the studio. How are you uh, maintaining your peace and protecting your mental, Pesh? That's a great damn that's question. A that's a hell of a question, bro. I don't even know, bro. Like, really, like, it just, nigga, knowing. <clears throat> it's sad. Is it that, is, you know, because every day, damn near, you scroll, psh, another nigga dead. Scroll, they don't be the news. It's Instagram. You go on, you see a picture of your partner on somebody else's page, damn. Yeah. So that would happen, like, when that shit happened with school, bro. I threw my phone. Like, I don't even be crying because I just be so numb. That shit made me cry, bro. You know what I mean? like, yeah, you know what? Last time you was here, you was talking about you know going up to New York, and a legendary DJ K Slay was putting you on an album, giving you the opportunity, and you was just talking about you know his legacy, and then you know uh, you was wishing him get well, and unfortunately you know he he transitioned to the other side. But one of those last conversations that you had with DJ K Slay, what what, what do you recall that conversation being like? It's sad. Yeah, long list last sad. He was talking about COVID. 
You talking about that shit, that shit ended up killing him. That nigga was terrified of that shit. Like, yo, son, I don't want to come down there. Cause he, cause he fucked with Smurf. Smurf were an ENT. Him mm-hmm. and Smurf got the same birthday. Mm-hmm. So he'd be like, yo, Smurf did my birthday down there. I want to come down there. Y'all niggas in Atlanta just lit, y'all, with, with, with the COVID shit. Mm-hmm. He ended up going to Carolina for some shit because he had just dropped the album and caught that shit in Carolina. Mm-hmm. And I ain't never talked to him after that because I went up there. I was mad because I didn't get to see him when I went up there in November. Mm-hmm. And do Shady for five. like, damn, nigga, how the fuck you had me up here and I don't even get to see you. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we ain't had no words, but we just had that little shit out, man. Like, bro, I pull to see you. I come up here, I pull to see you. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I bro. wish I did, because I ain't never seen him again. Like, I got the, he came down here for some big ass battle. Like, Benny Siegel, all them niggas was down there. Like, he came for that. We got to kick it, but he was on that COVID shit. Like, he kicking it, and he in the room with his little girlfriend. Yeah. Man, shout out Slay. My nigga Slay was like 55. The nigga girl's like 27. <laughs> 27, I swear to God. But it's shout straight stunning. What? Straight stunning. What? My nigga, look. I'm talking about a bad one. Yeah. A bad one. Mm. Bad one. I was like, yeah. see, that what I'm talking about. I'm trying yeah. to be like that nigga when I grow up. Yeah. Bro. Straight up. Hell yeah. Long live yeah. Slay. Patrick Mayweather is here getting you ready for the demonstration too. Now, going into this project, uh, what's some things that you want to separate from the first one and this one? What were some things you wanted to establish? Um... That I go toe to toe with whoever y'all say is the best. Mm-hmm. So we got songs where y'all people know the beats. Like the first song is Red Ice, which is Black Ice, Goody Mark. Mm-hmm. But that's who raised me, so I could do it anyway. They reposted as soon as it ain't even out yet. I just tagged them in and they reposted. Right. But we got the Black Ice remix. We got the uh, but the one like it's two of them. I did that. I hate you, the Scissor song. Uh-huh. Oh man, hey, look, I was waiting till you just like shot. Value type shit, cause what I said, I ain't gonna tell you. Gotta listen to it. Every female I know is like, "Why did you say that?" Yeah. It's like that's what I want you to, you know, think when you hear it, cause I, I merge my verse with the rest of the song, so she on the song with. Me. Okay. Yeah, but I start the song off first, uh-huh. so I'm coming from my perspective. Like you just did all this old, old oh I hate you. Okay, well this is how I feel about that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it just messed perfect. Then I did that um, that N95 with Kendrick Lamar. Oh. Murdered that. Kept yeah. him on it, though. Uh-huh. Yeah. He can't fuck with me. Uh-huh. Kept him on it. Did that one on what else? On that Wait For You. With Future Drake. Yep. Yeah, I got the second verse. Then Drake come after me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Shit hard, though. Real lyrical exercise, yeah. though, you know, because that's that cloth where you can say, hey, man, I'm standing up right there. Yeah. I'm in there. I'm in pocket. Like, who are that? That what you going to say? We like, especially with that Kendrick Lamar shit. Yeah. You don't know. Like, you just, you going to assume it's him. Yeah. And it's coming from me. It's like, you know, I'm a street nigga, bro. Like, straight up. Like, yeah. But I'm, that, and that's why, that's the shit I be on, because niggas can trap, do all the gang shit, gang bang, and all that. But if you come into the rap world, come on, this is rap. Come on, Pish. Work on your craft, bro. That uh-huh. other shit don't mean nothing. Too many niggas dying, bro. Uh-huh. Work uh-huh. on your craft. That's all I'm on. Like, any type of anything, like, even with the side, this is friendly. I don't got no problem with him. Uh-huh. Nothing like that. But you say you're the best alive. I bet. You got to stand, stand on it. You got to stand on business, man. Yep. Yeah. I was just telling you uh, before we started the interview, I say, man, Pesh, you stand on your business pretty strong, man, when it comes to marketing and promoting and just self-motivation, man. Yeah. What what keeps you going, man, and put that battery in your back like that? People down? Mm. Like, in like, just, I started in sports. You know what I'm saying? My daddy was my coach. Then my brother, he played with me. Then my real brother, Grinch same Park. mama, Gresham Park, Brown Mill, we east side shit, we played baseball. So we played every sport, but when that, that was, I'm a big fan of that with kids. You put that shit in, it's gonna put that competitive drive in. That shit translates when you get older. Uh-huh. Now you an adult, you can't accept being a fucking loser. Mm-hmm. I ain't with that shit. We lose, nigga. I'm crying. Nah, nah, nah. Can't, we lose, can't, we get put out of the tournament, boy. Yeah. Yeah. It hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Like it hurt. Like you nigga lose and be fine with it. Yeah. Nigga, nah. come on, bro. I'm not yeah, doing yeah, that yeah. in life, bro. Like I ain't got no money. Yeah. You know, I'm going to jail. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna get me some money. Uh-huh. Cause if you ain't got no money, you lose. Mm-hmm. So with the music. Oh. Also, cause okay, I started at the dungeon, but I wasn't even, I was 16, 17, so that really don't count. But after I came home, linked with the tape, we was already whatever on street shit, but you know, they doing music. Okay, just truth be told, that situation was like, okay, see, we got Westbrook, KD, Mm -hmm. Hard. Mm -hmm. Who got a ring? Mm -hmm. Out of the three, who got a ring? KD. KD, all right, and what, and music wise, Mm -hmm. what would, a tribute to a ring. What would be the same thing as a ring? Like like platinum? Yeah. 
a billboard hit, a number one billboard hit. Yep. We just did that. I got a ring. Come on, man. Come Congratulations. On, man. Yeah, I'm going to that shit up. <laughs> Come on. We all right. We did that, bro. Number one <laughs> on billboard. Shout out Lil' Key, man. Yeah, long yeah, live Lil' Key, for yeah, sure. Long live Key, bro. Free YSL, man. But yeah. that's, a long, that's a lot of long lives, though. You see that shit? That is, it is. And, and like you said earlier, it kind of becomes, you know, numb, you know, to a degree, man. Long live school, for sure. Oh, uh, yeah, man. So. Do you remember the last conversation that you two had? Me and school? Yeah. Um... I t- fuck it. I told I told him he had like somebody in the crew that wasn't right. Like on some street shit. Just like, yo, bro, you got a nigga around you ain't right. Just do your homework. That was it. You know what I'm saying? Last time I talked to him. Pitch Mate Weather is hit a demonstration. Two is on the way. August 28th. It's gonna be available on all digital streaming platforms. I know you had fun with this project. What oh, was pause, one? pause. It's not gonna be available on all digital platforms. That's what we're not doing. Where's what you where you putting that? Man, you have to pay for this. We're not giving away free music. School me, school me. I'm school putting me. you down. All right, boom. Let me put you down, man. All right, boom. This is what we doing. Because like 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 Capricio said, we giving you the experience. Uh-huh. So the tape is reminiscent. You know, these niggas, you know what I'm saying? I don't know nothing about that. You know, we some 80, baby. So uh-huh. they're taking you back to 88. Uh-huh. Boom box. Uh-huh. So we got a 100 limited edition boom box. Okay. Bluetooth, of course. They connect to your speaker. Yeah. It come with the tape, the actual That's tape. That's hard. Cartel shit on. Yeah. yeah. It come with yeah. the actual <laughs> tape. You got side A, side B, side A to RAR, side B is Swamp. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it come with the actual tape. You're going to get your cover and everything. You know what I mean? With the NFT. Yeah, it, it, it comes with the uh, with the pitch made by the NFT. You know See what, what I'm saying? I'm saying about the marketing, bro, and how you be... Yeah. Strategizing this man. Yeah. yeah so. 050 Inc. is in here, Pesh Mayweather. So it's an experience. Yeah, and right. you're doing a, a, a release party with it. So that's where we're going right. to get the boom boxes at. Right. Like you get one for free. Yeah. You get it. I'm going to pay for it. I want to pay for it. Whatever. Right. You get it. You, <laughs> you, we don't want your money's no good here, man. Right, no but, good, um, man. yeah. Um, you, like all the people at the radio, Stu, that my boy, man. Shout out Radio Stu, that my dog. I've yeah. been fucking with Stu. But, um, yeah, all right, y'all gonna get one. You gonna get your NFT. You gonna get your merch to go with the NFT. But with 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 the Pesh Mayweather NFT, the utilities on it is the key. You feel what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So when you get when you when you buy that Pesh Mayweather NFT, but you get access to any festival shows, anything that I'm on. All right. Like we obligated whether when you when you get your serial number for your NFT to show that uh, originalness is authentic. Yeah. Boom. All you gotta do is show it to one of us. Make sure you get your tickets, guaranteed, mm. on any festival. You know what I mean? So that's what we do. I like that. I like that. What was the song that you had the most fun with recording? Hmm, that's a great damn question. <laughs> that that's a great damn question. The shit, all of them. Yeah. Really? Let me see. Let me see. Probably that side high pack. Okay. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. Probably that side high pack. Uh, and that I hate you. And that Kendrick Lamar. And that wait for you. Cause okay. I'm on the song with them niggas. For sure. For sure. And it's just like y'all be dick riding these four. They can't fuck with me. I see you got that culture on, man. What's Respect up with that? The culture, man. You know, just just the culture, exactly what it says, man. It's some shit on. Um, actually, my brother T Money came up with the idea. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Y'all follow him at TTD T Money. That's the OG ape. The gorillas do uh-huh. all the. Yeah, that's my boy. Uh-huh. All right, so T Money, Ben had it, uh-huh. but he just stopped fucking with it because niggas lose focus. Uh-huh. So, and I'm telling y'all, what's up with the culture shit? You not fucking with it? Bro, you can work the room. Say less, cause I put this shit on, it gonna be some. Yeah. So that's what it is. You know yeah, what I'm saying? When I'm talking about when it got the LSC, did the business, all that shit, boom, boom, we up and running. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The East Side is here. Pesh Mayweather, East congratulations the on the demonstration part two. Yep. You know, stranger to post it on the corner, man. Whenever you got a project or anything you want to release, the platform and the doors is always open to you, brother. Yes, sir. Hey, man, how can they tap in with you on social media? You already know. Ask your bitch. She gonna <laughs> tell you. Go check her DM. You will see me in there, man. Pesh Mayweather, DTE. If you don't want to go through her shit, you can check her phone, and it'll still be Pesh Mayweather, DTE. And if it ain't me, you might be that black ass nigga. Tell you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>